Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can use EasyGPT, which is a free tool that I created in order to fine-tune ChatGPT uh, to a specific use case of your liking. So what that means is that we're going to use our own training data in order to teach ChatGPT a specific task um, that we can't so easily do just through prompting. So the EasyGPT dashboard looks different now. Um, we no longer have the files and the fine-tuning tabs. Um, we instead only have chat and complete, and that's because, as you might have realized, in OpenAI's big update a few weeks ago, they added um, this new functionality to be able to create um, fine tunes and upload files and delete files straight into the dashboard, uh, so in their playground. Whereas before, you could only do that via API or via the command line interface or via EasyGPT. So that means that most of EasyGPT's features are now redundant with this update, apart from one key feature, which is the ability to transform spreadsheets or CSVs into JSONL files. Because if I go here to create fine tuning, as you can see, they still only accept JSONL files as training data. So JSONL uh, stands for JSON lines. Okay, so now we have these two tabs in the dashboard, one called chat and one called complete. So the chat tab lets you create JSONL files in the format that is needed in order to train chat GPT models. So chat GPT models are the ones GPT 3.5 Turbo 0613, GPT 3.5 Turbo 1106, and GPT 4. And these are the chat models, right? So if I go onto the playground here and I click chat, these are the models that look like this, where we have a system message. So the default is you're a helpful assistant. And then when I say hi, um, it answers like a chatbot, right? And now this is, these are the chat models. And the chat models, they require their training data to look like this. It's basically a series of messages. And the first message is always the role of the, is, a, is, the, is always role system. And the content is uh, basically this here. So you are a helpful assistant. Now, this is an example that I copied from OpenAI's documentation. Here, the, the assistant is Marv is a factual chatbot that is also sarcastic. And then we have two more messages. So the next message is the is role user. So that's you. And then content, what's the capital of friends? So in my case, so this is your query. In my case, it's hi, right? And then finally, we have the third message, um, in the, which is role assistant. And then that's the answer. So here it's content as it Paris, as if everyone doesn't know that already. In this case, it's hello, how can I assist you today? So these three messages together, they always represent one chat. And this is basically one data point for the fine tuning. And we need at least 10. So that's the minimum. You need 10 chats in order to, uh, as, as your training data in order to fine tune ChatGPT. And so these are the chat models. Now the completion model, these are the legacy ones and they're gonna be outdated eventually. But the, the legacy models, what they do is, um, is they just complete. So if I write hi uh, and submit, it'll uh, it'll actually just um, basically auto-complete. In order to fine-tune completion models, um, your training data needs to look a little bit different. You have to have a prompt and a completion. Now, if you want to know how to do that, you can look at my previous video, uh, because in this video, I'm going to focus on chat. Okay, so basically that means in this tab, we can create JSON files that allow you to fine tune chat models. And in this tab, we can create JSON files that allow you to fine tune completion models. Now, just a quick recap for completion models, the JSON lines we need to provide should look like this. And so basically we have a prompt and a completion. Now, this is a model that I used in my last video in order to create a simple classification model, which basically classifies uh, messages into one of three categories, positive, negative, and neutral. And as you can see here, we have our examples. So, well, thank you. That's positive. Sounds interesting. It's positive too. Then George, no, unfortunately not. That's negative. Now you see, this is how we need our CSV to look like for completion models. But for chat models, it's a bit more complicated because we need each row in our CSV to represent one chat. So that means it represents a series of messages. And now, so in order to do that, we need these six columns. We need role one, content one, role two, content two, role three, content three. So role one is always the system. 
So that's basically what we type in here. You are a helpful assistant, the default. In this case, it is you are a classification tool which classifies messages into one of three categories, positive, neutral, negative. Then role two um, is our first, so this is our first example message that we want to, ca to categorize. That's well, thank you. And then the response we would expect from the assistant in this case is positive. So these are basically, each line represents an example of chat of how we want our chatbot to behave. So the next one is the same story, same uh, system message. System message always stays the same. Uh, we could have different system messages, but that's more complicated. And I think in most use cases, it's not necessary. And so then sounds interesting, again, positive. Now, uh, if we have all our headers, um, already named like this, role one, content one, role two, content two, role three, content three. It'll make our life a bit easier. So let's download this as a CSV now. Okay, now we can head to EasyGPT, go to the chat section. We're gonna upload a CSV, click to upload file. And okay, that's the one I downloaded just now, chat demo data chat one. And now we can map fields, but because we named our headers appropriately, there's no need to do that. It's, it's matched automatically. And so now we can just upload. Now we can see what's happened is that our CSV data, our list of chats in the CSV format or a spreadsheet format has been transformed into JSON lines. So the first chat is role system content, your classification tool, which classifies messages into one of three categories, positive, neutral, negative, then role two user, content, well, thank you. And then finally, role assistant, content positive. So now that we have turned our spreadsheet into these JSON lines, all that we need to do is give it a name, which is gonna be chat demo classification. And then we're gonna download that. And now we can head to, okay. Now we can head to the fine tuning section of our playground, OpenAI playground and click create, select the base model. So we're going to need a chat model because our data is in a chat format. So that's to be one of these three. I'm just going to choose this one because it's the smallest, I think. And then we're going to upload a file, chat demo classification, JSONL. That's the one we just got uploaded, select. Now it's uploaded the file and now it's asking me to confirm um, to start creating my fine tune model. Okay, so now what it's doing, it's created the job and it's validating the training file. So this is making sure essentially that it's correct JSON, that it's everything is in the format that it wants. I expect the validation should go through and then it'll start fine tuning our model. So I'll pause the video and I'll come back once uh, it's finished fine tuning. It should take um, five, 10 minutes or so. Our fine tune job has successfully been completed. Uh, as we can see here. So now we can test it by going to playground chat and then we'll see here our, under our fine tunes. It's the last one here. And now what we need to do is copy this into our, so our system message in here. And now we can find an example and say, I think that will be great and positive. So there you go. So that's how you can fine tune chat GPT to a custom use case. And yeah, thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.